I'd now like to call forward Patrick Straw from the Ontario Chapter Board, Canadian Security Association. Thank you. I represent an organization called CANASA, which is representative of hundreds of security dealers across Canada. Uh, we're representative of the alarm industry. Uh, we have very many participants from the lock industry, and uh, we would like to thank you for the opportunity to come uh, today. The Canadian Security Association is proud to support the Ontario Association of Chiefs of Police 2012 Crime Prevention Campaign. Established in 1977, CANASA is a national not-for-profit organization dedicated to advancing the electronic security industry in Canada. We promote and protect the best interests of our members and the safety of Canadians through industry education, advocacy, and leadership. CANASA works to create positive change in the electronic security industry through focused lobbying efforts at national, provincial, and municipal levels. We are the largest security association in Canada. Our growing memberships include more than 1,300 professional security companies across Canada, representing all segments of the electronic security industry. Our members are recognized as qualified, competent security professionals who adhere to top industry standards and a strict code of ethics. On a personal note, I am an ex-policeman. Uh, I've been involved in the security industry for about 25 years. A huge effort has been put forward in the electronic security industry to deal with the issues that police have to deal with. Uh, we're very excited about uh, getting more involved with the Ontario Association of Chiefs of Police, and we're also getting more actively involved across uh, Canada in the different provincial legislations. So, thank you. Thanks very much, Patrick. I look forward to working with you. Now I'd like to call forward Kevin McConkey. He's the Director of Claims with Allstate Insurance Company of Canada. I'd like to thank our friends at Interact for hosting all of us this morning, and I'd like to thank our new partners at the Ontario Association of Chiefs of Police for including us in today's event and, of course, the 2012 Crime Prevention Program. I'm happy to be here on behalf of Allstate Canada. Our company is extremely proud to, of this partnership with the OACP and to be among such great company today. I think it's pretty accurate to say that all of the organizations that have come on as supporters of this initiative recognize how important crime prevention is and that we all have a role in raising the awareness of personal crime issues to help keep citizens and communities throughout Ontario safer. As an insurance company that assists the public and works with law enforcement on a variety of issues, we realize this partnership would be a fantastic fit for us. There's a great deal of alignment between Allstate, the OACP, and this program that serves to educate the public on a variety of issues relating to crime prevention every year. The ultimate result is a more savvy public and communities across the province that are safer places to work and live. In our industry, one of the most pressing issues we are seeing right now is the prevalence of insurance fraud. Average citizens are becoming targets for organized criminals, and these criminals are using them to try to take advantage of a system that's set up to help Canadians recover from unexpected events in their lives. While a lot of what we see is in the realm of staged car accidents, fake robberies, arson, we found that a growing number of people are being affected by crimes like identity theft that is often perpetrated online. This type of fraud is another criminal enterprise that continues to increase and it's another area where Canadians need to be educated on how to protect themselves. The ability to reach out and inform the public on ways they can protect themselves from criminals and fraud perpetrators, whether it's online or out on the road, is a meaningful and worthwhile goal. We value this opportunity, work, uh, value this opportunity to work with the OACP and its other partners on this education campaign, and we thank you all for being here today to help share our message. Thank you. Thanks very much, Kevin. I'd now like to call upon Steve Sanderson, the President of Accident Support Services and good friend of the OACP, to come forward. Good morning. My name is Steve Sanderson, and I'm the President of Accident Support Services International Limited. We are very proud to have the opportunity to be a sponsor here today with the focus on cybercrime. We work with 40 different police services across Ontario, operating 23 collision reporting centers 
and provide police with our collision reporting and currents management systems. CROMS for short, CROMS allows the electronic data to be captured and analyzed from the forms that Ontario uses to report collisions. Police use this information to devise traffic enforcement strategies designed to make and keep our roadways safe. At Accident Support Services, we have long understood the need for the public trust to ensure the safety and security of the information and data we gather in the process of capturing collision information. We've been doing this for over 17 years and take great pride in the steps we have taken to ensure the information we capture is safe and secure with our award-winning program. All of us have a duty to protect ourselves from cyber crime and offer no easy path for the cyber criminal to achieve their goals. We must remain vigilant personally and professionally to the latest threats that we face because those cyber criminals who take advantage of technology to harm society are constantly evolving and finding ways to mask their criminal enterprises. Understanding how and where the cyber attacks against us is crucial to successfully finding, prosecuting, and stopping those criminals. Let's give the police the tools to do their job and try and shut some of these people down. As a business or as individuals, we need to have the best protection available. We do corporately and we continue to keep your information safe and secure. To those men and women in law enforcement tasked with sometimes a very difficult and challenging assignment to investigate these tragic cyber crimes, the work you do is very important. And thank you for doing your job so well. And thanks for having me out here today. Thank you. Thank you very much, Steve. Finally, I'd like to call forward uh, Gina Antonacci from, she's a Dean of School of Social and Community Services with Humber College Institute of Technology and Advanced Learning. Uh, good morning. Um, I can do that. Thank you. Uh, good morning. As a representative of a post-secondary educational institution, I think it's really important to note that uh, this campaign is relevant to our students because our students tend to be very early adopters of new technology and heavy users of technology. And I think it's important to remind them and the rest of us as well that when we are before our screens, our computer screens and our iPads and iPods and all of those other pieces, it's very easy to believe that we have anonymity and we don't, it's an illusion. And so um, I'm grateful for the campaign for that purpose. Um, I think like all things in life, you know, we strive for a balance and the balance that we're looking for here is the balance between the ease and access that we get from technology, the, the good things that it brings into our lives, and there are many, as well as the caution that's required, that caution that needs us to take a moment to step back and say, okay, you know, am I vulnerable? What kinds of things can I do to protect myself, my institution, my home, my family? So once again, thank you to the OACP. Another very successful, um, your leadership in this area has been wonderful all along every single year. And here's another campaign and certainly um, a great topic, cybercrime. So thank you. Thanks very much, Gina. Just before I go to our final speaker, I'd just like to thank members of the OACP for uh, putting this together today. A lot of staff uh, work went in behind uh, creating the booklet that I know uh, copies will be provided to, uh, to everybody attending and will be shared throughout the province. So thank you to the staff for, uh, for doing that for us. And finally, I'd like to call upon Chief Matt Tregan of the Waterloo Regional Police Service and current president of the OACP to say a few words. Get Jeannie to come and lower the mic for me. <laughs> Well, thank you, Andrew, and it's a, it really is a pleasure to be here this morning uh, to support the launch of this very important crime prevention campaign. And uh, please allow me to take this moment as well on behalf of the Ontario Association of Chiefs of Police to thank you for your leadership on the Crime Prevention Committee. And uh, as we know today and in the days ahead, and uh, with the booklet that you've produced as well, uh, the fruits of your labor and, and those on your committee 
uh, will be borne out as we uh, celebrate and, and launch uh, this important crime prevention campaign. <clears throat> and importantly, uh, the OECP as the voice of police leaders in Ontario, uh, we support our police services in their crime prevention efforts as well. For us in policing, uh, crime prevention is not a nice to have. In fact, it is fundamentally what separates policing in Ontario from policing that we see in other parts of the world. The Ontario Police Services Act lists five core functions for policing, and the number one listed core function is crime prevention. And so therefore, it is a commitment that we make to our communities to work together not only to respond to crimes, but in fact, prevent crimes from happening before they begin. So as you've heard, Deputy Chief Fletcher has outlined the importance of combating cybercrime. And let me add that we need partners like the ones who we have heard from today in supporting this campaign so that we can be effective in our crime prevention initiatives. As police officers, we need crime prevention tools to help prevent the very types of crimes that we've heard about. And that's why, to no surprise, Ontario's police leaders, to a person, support Bill C-30, the federal government's proposed lawful access legislation. New communication technologies are allowing old crimes to be committed in new ways. These technologies are also fostering the development of new crimes. Without modernization, the current legislative framework severely challenges police investigations and in doing so can compromise public safety. Police across Ontario support legislative change that provides law enforcement with the appropriate legislation and modern tools to prevent and fight crime while keeping us all accountable for its use. And we also agree that it is important to balance these needs while ensuring the privacy for all Canadians. In our view, the intent of Bill C-30 is not the violation of the rights of Canadians. The current legislation was drafted in the mid-1970s, over a generation ago, during the times of rotary phones, and uses language such as telegrams and cablegrams. As Ontario police leaders, our message is simple. We will use the tools given to us by elected officials and lawmakers for two purposes, to prevent crime and to respond to criminal activities. So let me end by, again, thanking the sponsors that are here today and helping us launch this year's OACP's Crime Prevention Campaign. Simply, we cannot do our jobs without your support and the support of our communities and community partners and government and corporate citizens alike. But we also need the media. So we thank you for not only moving and assisting us in getting this message out, but also your important role in communicating the facts and allowing us all as Canadians to foster a public dialogue on issues that are of vital importance to each and every one of us. So thank you. <clears throat>